What's up, YouTube? It's Hawkman, and I am back with another video. And in this video, we have another PSA submission reveal for you guys. This is, I think, 23 cards, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I did a preview video not too long ago. Those cards have just reached the assembly stage uh, where they're getting encapsulated, getting the labels printed on them. Um, and then next up, we'll, we'll get the grades revealed. Um, gonna try my best not to look at them because I wanna do a blind reveal here on the channel. Um, but since that order was so far along, I decided to get another order ready, and that's what we got here. So this is going to be the second PSA order I've ever submitted, and um, we're going to go ahead and preview what I'm going to be sending in right now. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So as you can see right on top, we got the Gunnar Henderson. show you guys this one. We got Gunnar Henderson. This is just a Bowman Chrome Sapphire Rookie. Sapphire sets, really good looking set. Um, just the base set's good looking. You don't really even need to get a parallel or anything. Um, this is just the base blue sapphire there. Good looking card. So we're gonna be sending that one in. Next up, I got a Ryan Sandberg Hall of Famer, uh, Chicago Cubs. This is from Topps Definitive Collection. Uh, this is one that I had for a little while, just been sitting in my collection. So um, nice Hall of Famer. Wanted to see how it would do one of the thicker cards. Looked pretty good to me, numbered out of 50. So we'll see how that one goes, that's a cool looking card. Um, next up is a Spencer Jones, this is Bowman Platinum, uh, just a base auto, top prospect autograph. Uh, forgot how I got this one. I think I got in a break uh, with a guy on um, Instagram that I break with. His name escapes me right now. I used to break with him a lot, uh, not so much anymore. Kinda just been on Fanatics Live lately uh, for when I do breaks, but Spencer Jones, one of the top prospects for the Yankees. Um, not sure if he's gonna be on opening day roster. Opening day is today, so um, can't wait to see all the games kick off today. See how everyone starts the season off. But yeah, Spencer Jones, he's one of the top guys to get right now. One of the young players there for the Yankees, along with uh, Jason Dominguez and um, some other guys. And then I got uh, Bradley Beal, on-card auto from Immaculate. Um, just a good looking card, got this in a break. This is the, uh, what is it, the Red Parallel from Immaculate Collection 22. 14 out of 15, thought this was a good looking card. Nice stitching, two color patch there. So I'll be sending that one in. Here's a case hit from Phoenix. This is Phoenician. Um, these are great looking cards. Um, Desmond Ritter, obviously his stocks have dropped quite a bit recently since um, he's been traded and kind of downgraded to a backup, but being in Arizona, knowing the injury history with Kyler Murray, um, it's likely we will see him start again next season. So um, I think the jury's still out on him to see how he's gonna pan out in the NFL. Hasn't had too much success, um, but again, you know, being a rookie, you can't really put too much into their rookie season. Not everyone can come out and be a CJ Stroud. So I like to see that one get uh, slabbed up. So we're gonna send that one off. Uh, here's a cool one, Flawless. This is my first gym card. Um, I've been in a lot of Flawless breaks, never actually landed one of the, the gym cards. This is the Diamond. Uh, On-card auto, Zach Charbonnet, Flawless Collegiate, um, UC, is it UCLA or Pitt? Yeah, UCLA. Um, UCLA, got the Diamond there. This is out of 25. Um, they say it's authentic. You do get a little card in the box that says it's an authentic gem. Not sure if that's really true or not, but if it is, um, yeah, it's a cool little feature there. So we're gonna be sending that one off. Uh, again, with the thicker cards, it's always a risk sending them off because they don't typically grade well, but the ones that I'm sending in, I looked at and they all look pretty good to me, so. Next up, Josh Jacobs, um, one of the top running backs to hit uh, free agency this year, uh, this off season. So we'll see how he does this year, but this is the uh, red and yellow uh, fusion, I think is what they call it, from Mosaic in focus um, auto there. Not numbered, but good looking card. It's got a pretty decent signature. So happy to send that one off. Here's a cool one, one of my favorite players, Chad Johnson, Ocho Cinco. This is the copper um, signature swatches, I think, out of 49. This one looked like it was in really good condition. Big fan of Ocho Cinco, so happy to see that one go. And then we got some uh, some Rocket stuff. We have the Monopoly Prism, Ahmed Thompson. This is 
number to 249. Yeah, 249 on the brown, brown parallel there. I'll be sending that one off. Got another one here. This is the uh, regular prism, the green uh, parallel, not numbered. But happy to get that one slabbed up. And then we have another Monopoly. This is the, we call it the gold millionaire shimmer. It's numbered to 500. Uh, but when I, it doesn't look like a shimmer to me. I mean, that looks like a mojo, but I think they call it a shimmer on the checklist. If I'm not mistaken. I couldn't, uh, I looked it up for a while because I couldn't believe they called this a shimmer because it doesn't have that traditional shimmer um, design. But the only thing I found was gold, uh, gold millionaire shimmer. And you see it's got the little Monopoly millionaire logo there in the back. Good looking card there. Rockets are having an incredible uh, run right now. They just won their 10th straight game against the Oklahoma City Thunder. I think next up we have, I want to say we have Dallas next, which is going to be a test, but hopefully we can keep it going. Now these next few cards are part of a rainbow that I kind of started a while back. Um, haven't added to it in a while, but I'm going to be looking to do that here soon. And that is of Alperin Shangoon, um, his optic rated rookie. This is from the Target exclusive set, the silver pulsar uh, design there. So we have that one. Then we have the uh, red green choice parallel. Nice one there. Of course, he's injured, so we're making this run without him. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens when him, Tari Eason, and Cam Whitmore get back. If we get even better, or if it kind of throws a wrench in everything and we start uh, falling off. So hopefully we get in the play in, we get some of those guys back and we uh, can put the pedal to the metal and do even better in the playoffs. Make a nice little run. Anyway, uh, here we have the purple Pulsar. Nice one there. I think he's gonna be huge superstar. I think he's like the next Jokic. I think many people feel the same way. Uh, but of course, seeing him go down with an injury was, was not a very nice thing to see. Next up, we have the uh, red choice. Nice card there. And then we have the blue velocity. Love those velocity design. And then we got the gold wave. Now, this is not numbered. Um, I don't know if it's yellow wave or gold wave, but anyway, good looking car there. Can't wait to see all these get slabbed up. Big Alperin Shangun fan. I used to have a huge collection of his rookie cards. Um, I pretty much sold everything off. I had probably close to a hundred, um, different sets and parallels, but these were the only ones I really wanted to keep because they were kind of sought after. Um, next up we have another Spencer Jones. This is a cool one. This is from Bowman Sterling. This is the orange parallel on card auto out of 75. I think these raw go for over a hundred bucks if I'm not mistaken. So hopefully we can get the 10 on that. Maybe three, four exit. If he has a great year um, in the majors, maybe we can five, six, seven exit. I guess we'll see. Next up is a good one. Colton Cowser. He's pretty much the talk of the town right now as far as rookies go. Um, I guess we'll see how he does. Nice on-card auto. This is just a base uh, auto out of Series 1, 2024 Series 1. It's going to be interesting seeing how he does. And then I got some really short print stuff here. So this is Bo Nix. I'm hoping he goes to the right team in the right system. Seems like he's been in college forever. I think he's coming out 25, maybe 26 years old. Um, but this is the... What do they call this? It's like the something splatter. It's only numbered to three. This is the white one, and then there's a black one too. So hopefully he can go to the right team. Um, maybe even start the season, raise the stock a little bit, and then uh, the value on this will jump immediately. But this is the Automania something splatter white number to three. I think he's gonna be one of the top QBs from this draft, to be honest, when it's all said and done. And then here's another one. This is the black version. Looks identical, uh, but you can see one's black and one's white. And of course, they're on separate sides there. So, gonna be interesting to see these. These are cool little die cuts. Got kind of like the, I don't know, what is that, a hexagon, octagon? Um, 
But yeah, can't wait to see what those get. And then finally, oh no, we got one more. Um, we have the Brock Purdy. Got this in a trade. I traded my CD Lamb Green Prism die cut uh, from 2020 Select. And uh, this for 500 cash plus this for my CD Lamb, and, um, which was number to five. So this was in really good shape. Centering looks good. To me, everything looks good. So I'm gonna send this one off. This is about a $100 card raw, maybe $300, $400 if we can get a PSA 10. Haven't looked in a while, but looks like it can do pretty well. And then finally, you guys may have seen this one before. Uh, I pulled this in a slab pack a while back. It was an SGC9. Um, this is a 2007 Tom Brady Tops Finest, Finest Moments X Fractor. Um, numbered to just 25, two off jersey number there. And um, it was in a SGC9 slab. I wanted to uh, crack it out, send it to PSA, see what it can get. Um, I think you could at least get a nine PSA. Um, hopefully it doesn't drop any, but you never know with these older cars. There's so much stuff that the naked eye can't see. But um, there's only four that's been graded. Um, three were PSA nines, then the one SGC nine, which I just cracked out, so that no longer exists. So three have only been graded. Um, it'd be incredible if this can get a 10, then be a pop one, but this is a good looking card here. Excited to see what this gets. This is probably my most valuable card, I think. Um, I went to sell it on eBay and um, someone bid on it, they won it, and then I couldn't find it. So it took me three, four days searching. I couldn't find it. They kept asking about it, asking about it. Um, so I went ahead and just refunded them. And then about a week later, I went, ended up finding it. Um, and rather than relisting it, I decided to keep it and resubmit it to PSA. So see what that gets. But that's a, that's a good looking card. Probably, it's probably my favorite card I have right now. But yeah, that's gonna do it. Gonna send these off probably in the next few days. So 30, 45 days, we'll be doing a review video. But that's gonna do it for this one. Um, I appreciate you guys checking it out. If you guys like the content, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.